Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and today for you I have this super nice Ritzcraft modular home. Comes in at 1,678 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. This is built out of their Michigan plant. We're here at the 2024 Louisville Home Show. This one is really nice. One of the more popular homes here at the uh, show. There's been like four times I've tried to film this one. <laughs> As you can see, there's still a bunch of people in there. So we've got these two really nice dormers done out in gray with the dark gray shutters. You've got the 512 roof pitch. Your utility room is in the back here. Really nice light fixtures I got on the outside, both front and back. We have our sliding glass door down at the end with an electrical outlet right next to it. And on the back side, they just did everything in black. Of course, you got that really nice light fixture over here too. Now let's uh, head back around and head on in. So as we come up on the front door here, you can see it's recessed a little bit with the two lights. And then we'll point out, before we go in, we have an all glass front door. As we come in, we have a coat closet right as you walk in the door. And you have kind of a little foyer area right as you walk in. Now we can get a better look at that door. Swing around to the living room. So you got nine foot ceilings with the coffered ceiling and the ceiling fan. So we're gonna we're gonna have to come back to the living room area. Let's come over to the kitchen with this really nice quartz countertop. And we have the undermount sink, spring faucet. Love these globe lights they put in here. And your flooring is going to be the LVP flooring. It is a Ridgecraft exclusive, so it is a welcome home flooring. Is the company that makes it. Soft closed drawers. And we have drawers above all our cabinets. We've got your oval poles. Microwave is at counter level. Randory GE appliances in here. Head down to the bedrooms. Well, of course, we can't forget the dining room. <laughs> so, hopefully, I won't forget anything. It seems how 
starting and stopping multiple times for this one. This is going to be where your stairs would be to go to your basement or if you wanted it upstairs. Sliding glass door is right off of your kitchen. And this is a storage closet slash pantry, whichever you choose to use it as. To the left is going to be your first bedroom. And our walk-in closet. So as we come out of the bedroom, we'll go to the secondary bathroom here. Hello, Raiden. Good sized counter space. You've got a different flooring in here versus the rest of the home. Of course, the shower tub combo, fiberglass. And uh, bedroom number two. You got a whole lot of options laying out here. All the colors you can get. Some of your different flooring and site or countertop options, carpet, some of your various different cabinet colors. And our closet here is going to be a double door. Now we can look at the room. <laughs> In our utility room. So you've got a rack over here to hang your clothes on, or you've got the steel rack up here above your washer and dryer. Some cabinets on each end. We've got a folding table. I like when they put these in the show model so you can really kind of see how they're going to fit and what they're going to look like. Here's our electrical panel. They've got a black door for the back door. Your attic access is in your utility room. Now the one thing I haven't seen yet is where the furnace is located. So I was looking for the furnace and water heater access. That is actually going to be downstairs in your basement over here. So they don't have it installed yet. When you get this home, they will put the furnace and the water heater down in your basement. It's nice when it's like a personal And I can finally get the living room a little bit better. Sorry about that. 
Now we can swing around to the primary bedroom. Really nice sized primary bedroom. We have the barn door going into the bathroom. Say hello to Quinn Chick. He uh, has a YouTube channel also. He has quite a few followers. He does not just modular homes, but he does other things also. So feel free to check him out. His YouTube channel is Quinn Chick. Quinn Chick. Quinn Chick. Yes. Yep. So. All right. Ahí está mi gente. Igual los que quieren ir. So as we step into the primary bathroom here, you can see we've got the freestanding tub right as we walk in. And then we have our dual sinks. Really nice countertops. Now this is uh, not the thin slate stuff, but it looks just like it, except obviously a little bit thicker. They went with the black pools on this one. The gray counters. Get you a better close up of the tub. We've got the wand coming out of the floor. Really like this accent wall they used. And for your water closet, you have a pocket door. And then you've got some shelves over here. Now your closet is off the bathroom. Now you can get a door in here pocket door or standard door. And we'll finish up with the shower. Really nice shower. And you've got two little corner shelves. Hope you all enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button subscribe button let me know what you think of the home while you're down there in the comment section and uh, we'll be back shortly with some price information all right we finished it finally <laughs> I tell you that was a another one of those really tough ones to film just because there was so many people in and out of the home it's such a popular home so I gotta apologize to Quan for mispronouncing his name there in the video he obviously corrected me. Uh, you know, I feel bad because I mispronounced it like literally five minutes after talking to him the first time. So, but there is a link to his channel in the description. So for those of you that speak Spanish and would like to view the homes in Spanish, he's also got things from tractors, RVs, trucks, a lot of other stuff on his channel. So check him out down there in the description below. But don't forget to keep coming back here. <laughs> I know y'all want some price information on this home. Now the best I can do is an estimated retail price, you know, and we because we don't know city fees, county fees, freight charges, because you have no idea where this home is gonna go, so they can't accommodate for any of that. There's been a lot of upgrades done to this home. Like one of them was the washer and dryer that comes with it. That is something you can get included in the home. Now that $1,600 I put in there may or may not be what it costs, because I honestly don't know if the prices included on the upgrade sheet are going to be the price that the dealer's going to charge or if they're going to tack on more on top of that. So you got to keep that in mind. I blurred out all the prices on the upgrade sheet, but I will have that included, obviously, so you guys can see it. That way, you know, you can see all those dotted lines. That's where the upgrades are at. All the other stuff is standard. So if there's a dotted line, 
That means that that is something that they've added to the home from standard. But uh, overall, according to the spec sheet, roughly $30,000 in upgrades. And I was told estimated retail cost on this particular home as it sits. Now, like, like I said, they don't know the freight on it. But you're looking at right around $195,000 for this home, kind of the way it sits. So you could maybe save yourself some money, get, go with some of the other non-upgraded stuff, and uh, get yourself a pretty nice modular for fairly inexpensive. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.